you know, my wife and I will sometimes just sit and watch a painting like we'd watch a TV show, <laughs> you know, just sit and go, then look at this and look at that. For as long as Steve Martin has been Steve Martin, a bright king of comedy, star of many a touchstone film, he's also been a passionate student, patron, and collector of art. Art has been very significant in my life. About 20 years ago, Martin encountered the work of painter Lauren Harris, now considered a Canadian national treasure. In the 1920s and 30s, Harris boldly reinterpreted what he called the Great North with his solid, serene landscapes. I think he's a very stirring painter, and he had a great accomplishment. And it's unfortunate, you know, that America knows of the Canadian comedians, and they know of the actors, and they know of the singers, but they know nothing about Canadian art. Harris founded what became known as the Group of Seven, a collective intent on creating a classically Canadian style. Their travels took them to the furthest reaches of Canada. They are vibrant scenes of nature, but entirely devoid of life. I believe he viewed isolation as spiritual or metaphysical, and he imbued his paintings with it. There's nothing organic in them. He's dealing with the spirituality of just the naked planet. Embarking on his curatorial quest, Martin crisscrossed Canada much as Harris did, making it a point to see every painting in person before including it in the show. When you just have a passing uh, familiarity with his work, you tend to think of them as blue and white. But the more time I spent with them, I, I realized the range of color was vast. If it's true that Inuits have 50 words for snow, you know, Harris has uh, 50 uh, gradations of blue. <laughs> Harris was a pioneer painter, arriving at a style all his own. But Martin points out in this companion show from the MFA's own collection, American artists were developing a similar aesthetic. With artists like Georgia O'Keeffe, Edward Weston, and Arthur Dove, the modernist movement was taking hold across the Americas. These painters are not a group. They didn't have a manifesto among them. But you feel the companionship, even as their styles are diverse, that they're presenting something new and disparate yet unified. And purely ideal. Jared Bowen, WGBH News.